Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 14th of 2020, well, it is titled Venus, Mercury and the waning moon. So what do we see here? Well, we see a view from Sicily and we're looking out uh, and we see up in the sky four bright objects. Now, what are each of these? Well, they're actually highlighted and as we move the mouse over the image, we can see what they are and they are identified there in Italian, but we can see very clearly what the objects are and we see the biggest and brightest of those is of course Luna or our moon and and it is in a crescent phase and in this case a waning crescent phase. Now waning crescent means that the moon is getting less and less illuminated each day. So we see a certain amount of the crescent today and that means that tomorrow we'd see even less and less over the coming days. So this is when the moon is visible early in the morning sky right before sunrise and it is closely approaching close to the sun and then will eventually disappear and become a new moon when it is completely a dark and not no, none of the illuminated portion is facing towards the earth and then will reappear in the evening sky in another week or so. Now the other objects that we see are two planets and a star. The star Spica is the bright star in the constellation of Virgo and is one of the brighter stars in the sky. But we can see it is still even that is much fainter than the two planets that we see. The two planets in this case are Venus, uh, Venere, up towards the top and Mer Mercury or Mercurio down towards the bottom. These are two of the closest planets to the sun much closer than the earth and are therefore always between the earth and the sun. So they're always seen very close to the sun. So right before sunrise or right after sunset and unlike the other planets Mars, Jupiter and Saturn are never visible in the middle of the night up high in the sky. So they are very tough to observe. Uh, Mercury being the hardest to observe because it is the closest to the sun. So it never gets very far away from the sun in the sky. Venus being a little bit further away and brighter is a little bit easier to see and is very prominent in the morning sky right now. So we can see all of these objects and it is a chance in the morning sky to be able to see these. Now the moon changes very quickly. So if you miss the moon, it's a little bit late to be a little late for that. But you can see Venus still very prominently and Mercury, one of the harder planets to see uh, that is visible as we see in our image today. So that was our picture of the day for November the 14th of 2020. It was titled Venus, Mercury and the Waning Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Edge On. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.